Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys, and today we are totally checking out two of their new-ish DC figures. We have the Batman, and then we have Batman Unmasked, oddly enough. Neither of these are technically Batman. <laughs> we have the Hellbat Gold Edition and, of course, the Flashpoint Thomas Wayne. Hellbat Gold Edition has some nice gold foil on the side of the box. You get a nice photo of it on the back, and here's the barcode. These are starting to hit targets now. I think that's it for as of this video. And then you have Thomas Wayne Unmasked. Again, he's hitting as well. Here's the barcode. We're going to make this a quick video. We'll do some comparisons, have some fun, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, yada yada. This is a look at the new repaints of DC Multiverse by McFarlane Toys. And here's the two figures. And yeah, if you have the Flashpoint Batman or if you have the Hellbat, then these are really going to be if you need variants. And they're just... They're just okay. I mean, to be quite honest with you, there's only so many repaints you could do. Now, with the Hellbat, I'll give them this all day. It looks nice. It stands out. It's gold and it's red. It's a menacing. It's just, it's a great figure, even when it's just black and red with the wings. But what I really appreciate is that they made it so that the wings look a lot more integral to the suit by adding some red accents to it, unlike the first version where it just kind of it doesn't mesh as well, but then on the back side, there's no red lines that continue it. So it's like, yay, and then they take it away from you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Little extra paint would have gone a long way. It's my nitpick, but it would have just been nice. The sculpt is great. The articulation works for a big, chunky, robot-looking figure, of course. This is a mech suit. Batman wore it. Lois Lane wore it. Whatever. Really nice colors. Overall, Thomas Wayne, on the other hand, on the flip side, this is one of those figures where if you bought the original Flashpoint, this would be like a pack-in head. Let's be honest. This would be something you'd find. Because, one, I don't really think it looks too much like... It's there, but it's not. It's I mean, it would you would from afar, you would say it's Thomas Wayne. Kind of looks like Flashpoint movie Thomas Wayne. It also kind of looks like the comic book Thomas Wayne. But then, who really wants just an unmasked Thomas Wayne when they really just want the Batman head. This is one of those heads where it doesn't really make any sense because there's no Batman head either. You know what I mean? It's a conundrum, of course. He does come with the Amazonian sword from Flashpoint towards the end, and he it's the sword that he stabs Zoom with. How awesome would this be to make up for this figure, let's just say, if they release Zoom and you could put the sword through him? Do that. That would be amazing, and it would be worth it. He comes with... The weapons, the guns, everything else. Same exact figure, same exact weapons, same exact articulation. It's just got a new head sculpt to him. He should have had a bat, like a Batman head, you know, just as an extra. So yeah, if you're buying the figure again, at least put a Batman in. But um, the red of the costume, I think she could have used a little sprucing up with the with a black wash. The only real new part minus the head is the back of his cow like he's unmasked himself it just kind of sits it's a separate piece so if you pull the head off you can pull the cowl off you can do all that kind of stuff but yeah you can see the ears semblance of a mouth yada yada he will scale well with bane thomas wayne started I, I really liked him in like flashpoint and then he went evil and he worked with bane like i don't know the way tom dc comics it, it goes wackadoo sometimes and just to show you a comparison same exact figure same exact everything but don't you want the Batman head? Don't you, Why would you want the unmasked head? Unless, you know, hey, if you're a completist or you just like all the Batmans or you're a big fan of Thomas Wayne. Yeah, of course, pick it up if you need it. With the gold bat, I like the black and the red better. This gold one is an interesting repaint, but it's a typical like McFarlane toys. We've had gold spawns. We've had a solid gold bronze figures, whatever you want to call them before. So this is kind of in that realm. The wings look better suited for the gold version because of the red, but you're really buying the same figures again. See, I told you this would be a fast one. These I recommend if you're a completist of the DC Multiverse line. If not, I would say pick and choose accordingly. Yes, the gold bat looks great. Nice new paint job to him. Thomas Wayne, if you really need that extra unmasked head, which I don't really think looks enough like Wayne to say 
go get it. So yeah, I'm going to leave it up to you in that sense. I would say both of these are kind of just passes, to be quite honest with you. Save your cash, save your dough for the next releases that are coming out for DC Multiverse. But I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And again, thank you to McFarlane Toys for sending these out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to repaints, they are integral for toy lines, but that doesn't mean you have to get every single one. Just remember that. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.